Republican candidate Donald Trump won the US presidential election by defeating Vice President Kamala Harris. Harris, who entered the US presidential polls after Joe Biden's exit, had to face defeat from Trump, who secured over 270 electoral votes. While several polls predicted a neck-to-neck -neck fight between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, the results came out to be completely different. Yet, Kamala Harris's story inspires many. Kamala Harris is a name many associate with breaking barriers. Born to an Indian mother and a Jamaican father, her journey to US presidential elections is filled with challenges, triumphs, and controversies. Here is the story of Kamala Harris, her life, career, and political ambitions. I'm Shivangi and you're watching India TV. Kamala Harris was born on October 20, 1964 in Oakland, California to Shyamala Gopalan, an Indian immigrant from Tamil Nadu, and Donald Harris, a Jamaican immigrant. Both her parents came to America during the 1950s. Shyamala, a Tamil Brahmin, was deeply influenced by Indian culture, whereas Donald, he was from African descent, came from a similar background of colonial history in Jamaica. They met each other during their studies in America and both were active in fighting against racial discrimination. At the age of 7, Kamala's parents divorced after 9 years of marriage, leading to a fierce custody battle. Her mother Shyamala won the custody and Kamala was primarily raised by her. In her biography The Truths We Hold the American Journey, Kamala wrote how her mother understood very well that she was raising two black girls and she kept both of them full of confidence and hope. But the absence of Kamala's father didn't prevent Kamala from maintaining a relationship with him despite the custody challenges. Moving on to Kamala's education, well as a child Kamala Harris participated in a significant social experiment in America's history. When she was 5 years old, she became part of a school desegregation program that allowed black children to attend schools alongside white children. However, later on Kamala's mother moved the family to Montreal, Canada when Kamala was 12 years old. Her mother went there for a job opportunity at McGill University. But later Kamala Harris returned to the United States for college where she attended Harvard University. There she became involved in activism and student demonstrations for the rights of African Americans. After Harvard, Kamala went on to study at the Columbia University where she completed her law degree. Following her graduation in 1989, she passed the California bar exam and began her legal career, taking on roles in public service. If you talk about Kamala's personal life, well she met her husband Douglas M Hoff through a blind date in 2013 and they married the following year. Following which Kamala became a stepmother to Douglas's two children. Kamala Harris's political journey began after she became a district attorney for San Francisco in 2004. She quickly rose to the ranks, becoming California's attorney general in 2010. She made waves by advocating for criminal justice reform including reducing the death penalty and focusing on rehabilitation for minor offenders. However, her stance on issues like truancy, which means punishing parents for not sending their children to school, drew criticism especially from African American communities. In 2016, she became the second black woman ever elected to the US Senate, a position she used to champion progressive policies. However, her run for president in 2019 ended early after tough debate against Joe Biden, but she was soon chosen as his running mate. In 2020, Kamala Harris made history when she became the first woman, first black woman, and first South Asian woman to be elected as the vice president of the United States. She advocated for justice, equality, and opportunity with Joe Biden winning the election against Donald Trump. Despite facing attacks from her opponents including former president Donald Trump who has mocked her as quote and quote laughing kamla kamla harris remains a powerful force in american politics